Thanks, Hank. He doesn't even care. He doesn't care. Let's go. Where are we going? North Star, the best breakfast place. Yeah, my favorite breakfast spot. Best pancakes in the world. My yeah. neck is still a little stiff from the game, but I'll be okay once I wake up. This is Hank. Uh, it ain't that bad. See, I can turn it like that. Just you feel it a little more. Uh, yeah. Easy. Buckeyes game today, night game. Ain't been back in a while, so nice to catch up on these boys. How's it feel to be back? Pretty cool. I feel old. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went out last night, and it's not it's not our scenery anymore. <laughs> it's pretty cold, so I can't wait to get back to Vegas. Back at uh, Ohio State, the University of Ohio State, um, here at the Mirror Lake. Just about to, uh, you know, walk around, show y'all a few, you know, known spots that I used to hit up when I was back here on campus. But um, just to see the scenery, it's fall now, it's beautiful, so it should be nice. It's game day. Yeah, oh, okay. it is game it day. Is game Night day. game at the shoe, all scarlet. You know it's going down. I think we're gonna put up 60 today, so it should be fun. So the energy on game day is insane. I got one story we were played and it was after the game. I mean I'm walking back to my dorm just because I didn't really want to take the bus back to the facility and I thought I'd be able to get home quicker so and not really thinking that um you know people would notice me but it was a fan walking back and he noticed who i was and out of nowhere he was like you jump back i'm like yeah and out of nowhere he just jumped on top of me and hugged me i'm looking like I'm trying to shake you up like man dude what is you doing but he was so excited and drunk from the game but you know not knowing you're gonna walk into me and see me but that just shows you how much you know support and love they got for buckeyes but no it's great man it's gonna be crazy night game at the shoe it's probably like a, a sunday night game or a monday night so that's the vibe that you're gonna see today i think our whole coach staff is pretty good it's a lot of them but mike Vrabel, coach tress coach meyer every year i was here it was always pretty good other than the bad year when the tattoos and stuff happened but other than that it's been pretty good it's the tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? One guy's got in trouble for the tattoos and the rings. Ohio State quarterback Terrell Pryor and four other Buckeyes must sit out the first five games of the 2011 season for accepting improper benefits. School athletic director Gene Smith and coach Jim Tressel were meeting with reporters to discuss the university's investigation of players trading autographs for tattoos. You don't remember that? No. Made it a big deal, but now we got the, what's the NIL or 
guys can make money off the field now, so. I remember my math class, this is a little building right over there. And um, I remember I bombed it real bad. And I went back to my counselor. <laughs> and I told her, man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I bombed the first one, there was only two. And I'm already in the fucking hole. So, you know, we had to do, we had to drop that thing, get out of here <laughs> real fast. But, um, you know, I eventually, you know, got used to it, got my tutors that I needed. That's one thing about here at Ohio State. They demand, demand excellence, you know, on the field, off the field. And uh, you just got to carry yourself as a man. So, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. I'd say Cam Hayward before I got here. He was here before me. Hell of a D taco DN. I think all American maybe every year he was here. Obviously got drafted to the Steelers. Still playing to, you know, to this day and at a high level. One of the best D tacos in the league. Uh, he was somebody I looked up to. Someone I kind of, you know, try to mock my game as just because he was real strong and powerful. And uh, me being a big guy, that's naturally, you know, what I can do, but also being, you know, agile and be able to move my feet you know i got the chance to play with him for one year but i uh, learned a lot from him and you know i'm out there doing my thing just like he is so you know i definitely give him kudos for you know helping me out but um you know we whooped on him this year you know i would say if you're coming to college just make sure you handle it yourself you know make sure you manage your time well training you know listen to the older guys the coaches and just you know learn from them you don't try to rush it or anything. So that's what a lot of guys mess up when you get to thinking too much about stuff. But like, you know, just go out there and ball. We've been doing this since we were kids. And, you know, if you can go to camps, tryouts, you know, anything to get your, you know, some exposure out there, just go ahead and do that. But, you know, just play. And everything going to happen that's supposed to happen. That's how I look at it for me. So. I mean, it's great to see. Like, I see how he developed to who he is based on his location you know so finally nice to put the the whole columbus ohio state <laughs> picture together right like his time here it really shaped him as a person so i like it i like it here That's a tough one. So I think it was pretty good. If I would have stayed that fourth year in college, <laughs> the year they won the uh, national championship, it would have been pretty cool to have been a part of that team and you know have a national title under my belt. But you know, I just sort of, I chose and pursued NFL. It worked out for me, but it definitely would have been nice being a part of that team. That's probably the only thing I would say I would probably do over. Everything else kind of made me the man I am now and put me in a position that I am at right now. So they do like these early projections for guys that's, you know, projected to go to the NFL. And I think that at that time I was projected to go like top 15. And, you know, being a young kid, you know, I'm excited, you know, showing everybody, telling everybody. But I'm um, not knowing, you know, I go through the year, have a, you know, a pretty good year. And um, obviously we was undefeated that season, but uh, played pretty well. You know, getting ready for the draft, you know, I went to go talk to, you know, Urban Meyer and my strength coach, and I'm like, you know, should I stay, should I go? And, um, you know, they kind of kept it nice and sweet and said, no, go. You know, you get projected that high. You know, this is a wonderful opportunity. You don't really get those too often. So I was able to do that, capitalize on it. Uh, obviously, nine years later, I'm still doing it, so, yeah. <laughs> Greater this year. Let's go. Hey, dear, yeah, but I'm about to be live. <laughs>
dominate these guys. That feels good, man. There's still a few guys still here. A few coaches. Oh, no, it's nice, man. It feels good, bro. I can't wait for the game to start. Oh no! Success, baby!